Introduction John Hasbrock Van Black was an American physicist and mathematician co-awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1977 for his contributions to the understanding of the behavior of electrons in magnetic solids. J. H. Van Black established the fundamentals of the quantum mechanical theory of magnetism and the crystal field theory. He is regarded as the father of modern magnetism. During World War II, J. H. Van Black worked on radar at the MIT Radiation Lab. He was half-time at the Radiation Lab and half-time on the staff at Harvard. He showed that ab at about 1.25 cm wavelength water molecules in the atmosphere would lead to troublesome absorption and that at 0.5 cm wavelength there would be a similar absorption by oxygen molecules. This was important consequence not just for military radar systems but later for the new science of radio astronomy. Van Vlock receives the Lawrence Medal for Van Vlock receives the Lawrence Medal for from Hendrik Bridget Gerhard Casimir at the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences, Amsterdam. Van Black participated in the Manhattan Project in June 1942. J. Robert Oppenheimer held a summer study for confirming the concept and feasibility of nuclear weapon at the University of California, Berkeley. Eight theoretical scientists, including Van Black, attending it, ad attended it. From July to September, the theoretical study group examined and developed the principles of atomic bomb design. J. H. Van Black's theoretical work led to establish the Los Alamos Nuclear Weapons Laboratory. He also served on the Los Alamos Review Committee in 1943. The committee established by General Leslie Groves also consisted of W. K. Lewis of MIT, Chairman E. L. Rose of Johns and Lamson, E. B. Wilson of Howard and Richard C. Tolman, Vice Chairman of NDRC. The committee's important contribution was a reduction in the size of the firing gun for the little boy atomic bomb, a concept which eliminated additional design weight and sped up production of the bomb for its eventual release over Hiroshima. However, it was not employed for the fat man bomb at Nagasaki, which relied on implosion of a plutonium shell to reach critical mass. He was awarded the National Medal of Science in 1966 and Lawrence Medal in 1974 for his contributions to the understanding of the behavior of electrons in magnetic solids. Van Black was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics 1977 along with Philip W. Anderson and Sir Neville Mott Van Black transformations and Van Black paramagnetism and Van Black paramagnetism also named after him. Learning outcomes. After studying this module, you shall be able to know the relation between thermal energy and magnetic properties of any paramagnetic substance. Learn Van Black equations taking into account the first order 
and the second order Zeeman effect. Modify the Van Black equations for the substances having the multiplet with large as compared to KT. Modify the Van Black equations for the substances having multiplet with comparable to KT. Evaluate the magnetic properties of lanthanides. Thermal energy and magnetic moment. The magnetic property of a paramagnetic substance originates from the permanent magnetic dipoles present in it. On the application of a magnetic field, first the magnetic dipoles tend to align themselves along the field direction against the disrupting influence of temperature. As a result, the MJ levels symmetrically split into lower and upper levels. This splitting is known as the first order Zeeman effect. Second, the orbitals get distorted via the introduction of some character of the excited state into the ground state. This is known as second order Zeeman effect. Van Vleck equations. Using quantum mechanics, Van Vleck derived the analogous expression taking into account the two Zeeman effects. That is, chi m is equals to n mu b square upon 3 kt plus n alpha where mu b square is the square of the low frequency part of the magnetic moment vector averaged over time and this average being itself averaged over various normal states appropriately weighed according to the Boltzmann factor. N alpha is the combined temperature independent contribution of the high frequency elements of the paramagnetic moment and diamagnetic part. A convenient unit of atomic magnetic moment is Bohr magneton the magnitude of which is given by beta is equals to eh upon 4 pi mc which is equals to 0.917 into 10 raised to power minus 20 arg per austed. Now equation number 1 becomes chi m is equals to n beta square mu b square upon 3 kt plus alpha where mu b square is the low frequency part of the magnetic moment expressed in Bohr magnetons. In general, the magnetic moment of an atom consists of two parts. First, the orbital contribution and the electron spin contribution. In different normal states of the atom, the inclination of orbital and spin contributions may be different. For many cases, the permanent magnetic moment is not invariant with temperature, although it appears to be so. Also, molecular paramagnetism as contrasted with Atomic paramagnetism, the orbital contribution appears to be quenched out for most of the cases. In evaluating mu b square and alpha in the terms of experimentally determinable quantities, there are three cases for which different equations are required. A Multi-electron system possesses several J levels, the ground state J being decided by Hund's rule. The J levels of a given 
Russian sounders term together constitute a multiplet and given J level is called a component of the multiplet. The energy gap between two successive J levels is known as the multiplet width. Normally, the magnetic property of a substance originates from its ground state. But this is not so when excited states lies close to the ground state. It explains when the multiplet width is in the neighborhood of KT, the thermal energy. In such a situation, the excited state or states may be significantly populated as for example, in Samarium 3 and European 3. Therefore, deriving the magnetic moment equation, we need to also consider the population of the excited states. Such a consideration leads to three distinct situations. First, the multiplet width is large as compared to KT. Second, the multiplet width is small as compared to KT. Third, the multiplet width is comparable to KT. Multiplet intervals large compared to KT. When the multiplet width is greater than KT, the L and S vectors interact strongly. This means that these vectors precede rapidly about the direction of the resultant J vector. In this situation, J becomes good quantum number such that the quantum numbers L and S no longer dictate the ultimate magnetic properties. Therefore, magnetic moment is given by mu J is equals to under root j j plus 1 g beta where j is the vector sum of l and s and g is the lande splitting factor and which is given by g is equals to 1 plus s s plus 1 plus j j plus 1 minus l l plus 1 upon 2j j plus 1. From equation number 3, we get equations for mu L and mu S easily. For orbital magnetic moment, only S is equals to 0, so that j is equals to L, hence g is equals to 1. Therefore, mu L is equals to under root L, L plus 1 beta. For spin magnetic moment only, L is equals to 0, so that J is equals to S, hence G is equals to 2. Therefore, mu S is equals to under root 4S, S plus 1 beta. Equation number 2 then becomes chi m is equals to n g square beta square j j plus 1 upon 3 kt plus n alpha. The term alpha no longer has the value 0 but is given by n alpha is equals to n beta square upon 6 2j plus 1 into f j plus 1 upon h mu j plus 1 minus f j upon h mu j plus 1 where f j is equals to 1 upon j s plus l plus 1 whole square minus j square into j square minus s minus l whole square. Equation 3 is used to evaluate 
the magnetic moment for most of the rare earth ions elements and susceptibility of the same can be calculated by using equation number 7 multiplet intervals small compared to kt when the multiplet width is quite small as compared to kt virtually all the j levels may be assumed to be populated therefore mu is equals to under root 4 s s plus 1 plus l l plus 1 beta the magnetic moment arises from the sum total of the spin and orbital effects remembering that the magnetic susceptibility is additive and that the square of magnetic moment is additive moreover the high frequency elements of the paramagnetic moment are absent equation number 2 then becomes chi m is equals to n mu l square upon 3 kt plus n mu s square upon 3 kt that becomes chi m is equals to n upon 3 kt into mu l square plus mu s square chi m is equals to n beta square upon 3 kt into 4 s s plus 1 plus l l plus 1 where s and l are the resultant spin and orbital moments respectively therefore mu l plus s is equals to under root 4 s s plus 1 plus l l plus 1 beta multiplet intervals comparable to kt when the multiplet width is comparable to kt then to calculate the total magnetic susceptibility it is advisable that the magnetic susceptibility due to each j level along with the population of the j level to be considered this case involves summation of the contributions of atoms with different values of j the number nj that is the number of atoms in a mole with a given value of j is determined by the voltsman temperature factor the avogadro number n is composed of nj nj plus 1 and so on thus chi m is given by chi m is equals to summation of nj g square beta square j j plus 1 upon 3 kt plus nj alpha j each j level has as many as 2 j plus 1 orientations we have for a j level having an energy e above the ground state j nj is equals to c 2j plus 1 e raised to power minus e upon kt where c is the proportionality constant substituting the value of nj in equation 15 we get chi m is equals to c summation from j is equals to l minus s to l plus s of g j square beta square j j plus 1 2 j plus 1 e raised to power minus e upon kt upon 3 kt plus c summation of 2 j plus 1 e raised to power minus e upon kt alpha j since n is equals to summation of nj 
is equals to c summation of 2j plus 1 into e raised to power minus e upon kt. Therefore, c becomes equals to n upon summation of 2j plus 1 into e raised to power minus e upon kt. Thus, the final expression for chi m is given by chi m is equals to n beta square upon 3 kt summation over j is equals to l minus s to l plus s g j square into j into j plus 1 plus alpha j into 2j plus 1 into e raised to power minus e upon kt upon summation of 2j plus 1 into e raised to power minus e upon kt. Therefore, magnetic moment is given by mu is equals to under root summation over j is equals to l minus s to l plus s g j square beta square j into j plus 1 plus alpha j into 2j plus 1 e raised to power minus e upon kt upon summation of 2j plus 1 e raised to power e upon kt. It is clear from the above discussion when the multiplet intervals are small or large compared to kt, the Curie law should be obeyed except for the relatively small temperature independent high frequency elements. But where multiplet intervals are comparable to kt, we get a Boltzmann distribution of various normal states together with some rather striking departures from Curie law. Magnetic properties of lanthanides. The lanthanides belongs to the inner transition series. These elements are generally trivalent having electronic configuration is equals to 4F0 to 14, 5S2, 5P6. The paramagnetism in these elements arises from the 4F electrons. These electrons are effectively shielded from external influence by filled 5S and 5P subshells. Evidence that 4F electrons responsible for the paramagnetism are relatively free from external influence is given by the facts that the lanthanides are remarkably alike chemically and that their absorption bands and magnetic susceptibilities are little affected by change of ionic environment as by change of compound or of solvent. The crystal field effect in lanthanides is about 1 by 100 of that observed in the first transition series. This suggests that for lanthanides the spin orbit coupling constant is quite high. That means spin orbit coupling is much much higher than ligand field splitting so that the L and S vectors couple effectively to give the J vector. Thus for lanthanides, J is a good quantum number. As we realize now, this is simply equivalent to assuming the multiplets all very wide compared to KT. The magnetic moment will be given by the following equation number 7. Mu J is equals to under root J 
into j plus 1 g beta where g is equals to 1 plus s into s plus 1 plus j into j plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 upon 2j into j plus 1 on simplify this equation we get g is equals to 3 by 2 plus s into s plus 1 minus l into l plus 1 divided by 2j into j plus 1 where j is equals to l plus s to l minus s for the calculation of g value we use minimum value of j for the configurations having up to half filled f orbitals it explains j is equals to l minus s for configurations f0 to f7 and maximum value of j is used for configurations with more than half filled f orbitals it explains j is equals to l plus s for the configurations f8 to f14 for f0 f7 and f14 l is equals to 0 hence mu j becomes mu s now let us calculate lende factor g and mu j for a promethium 3 plus ion promethium 3 plus has configuration xenon 4f2 the ground state from hund's rule is shown here thus total spin quantum number s is equals to half plus half is equals to 1 spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equals to 3 total angular momentum number l is equals to 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 j can be 6 5 or 4 3h state splits into 3h4 3h5 and 3h6 states according to hund's rule 3h4 is the ground state and energies of these states increase in the order 3h4 then 3h5 then 3h6 thus j is equals to 4 is chosen for f2 now g is equals to 3 by 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 minus 5 into 5 plus 1 upon 2 into 4 into 4 plus 1 g becomes equals to 0.8 now let us calculate mu j mu j is equals to 0.8 under root 4 into 4 plus 1 bohr magneton on calculating mu j is equals to 3.58 bohr magnetons this calculated value is very close to the experimental value mu j which is equals to 3.4 to 3.6 bohr magnetons similarly we can calculate lende factor and mu j for all the lanthanides the calculated and observed magnetic moment for the trivalent lanthanides are shown here lende formula fits well with observed magnetic moments for all the lanthanides except for samarium 3 plus ion and europium 3 plus ions the magnetism of these two ions is best studied in combination with that of trivalent ions of promethium and terbium the j values for these four ions are shown here as we know that the energy separation between the ground state and the first excited state is 5 lambda for promethium 3 plus ions 7 by 2 lambda for samarium 3 plus ions lambda for europium 
थ्री प्लस आयंस एंड सिक्स लेमडा फॉर टर्बियम थ्री प्लस आयंस लेमडा इज द स्पिन ऑर्बिट कपलिंग कॉन्स्टेंट विच इज अबाउट थाउजेंड सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स फॉर ऑल द लेंथेनाइट एक्सेप्ट फॉर सेमेरियम थ्री प्लस एंड यूरोपियम थ्री प्लस हाउ एवर लेमडा वैल्यू फॉर यूरोपियम एंड सेमेरियम थ्री प्लस आयंस इज अबाउट टू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स दैट मीन्स द एनर्जी सेपरेशन बिटवीन द स्टेट्स इज अबाउट टू थर्टी सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स फॉर यूरोपियम थ्री प्लस आयंस एंड सेमेरियम इज अबाउट एट फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर इनवर्स विच इज ऑल्सो अ स्मॉल वैल्यू द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ सेपरेशन बिटवीन द एडजेंट स्टेट्स ऑफ ए टर्म इंडिकेट्स द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द स्पिन ऑर्बिट कपलिंग एंड इन ऑल केसेस एक्सेप्ट फॉर ट्राइवेलेंट आयंस ऑफ सेमेरियम एंड यूरोपियम इट इज सफिशियंट टू रेंडर द फर्स्ट एक्साइटेड स्टेट ऑफ लेंथेनम थ्री प्लस आयंस थर्मली इन असेसिबल एंड सो द मैग्नेटिक प्रॉपर्टीज आर डिटरमाइंड ओनली बाय their ground state however samarium 3 plus ion at room temperature the first excited state and for europium 3 plus the first excited state and even the second and the third excited states are populated in each of these ions the j value is higher than that of the ground state and mu j is expected to be greater than that of only the ground state the magnetism of these ions is expressed by equation number 17 for samarium 3 plus ion we have l is equals to 5 j is equals to 5 by 2 and g is equals to 0.286 for ground state and 0.825 for the j is equals to 7 by 2 level now neglecting alpha j we can write equation number 17 as chi m is equals to n beta square upon 3 kt into a upon b where a is equals to 0.286 square into 5 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 6 into exponential 0 plus 0.825 square into 7 by 2 into 9 by 2 into 6 into exponential minus 7 by 2 into lambda by kt e for j level is equals to 0 and for j plus 1 level is equals to minus 7 by 2 lambda similarly we can calculate the value of b from this calculations mu j is equals to 1.3 bm is calculated at 300 kelvin this value agrees well with the experimental values similarly for europium 3 plus ion mu j is equals to 3.5 bohr magneton is calculated at 300 kelvin using the same equation this again agrees well with the experimental values theoretically effective bohr magneton numbers calculated from the appropriate equations of van vleck are in extraordinarily good agreement with observed values the averages of all recent experimental values at room temperature have shown here use of lanthanides magnetic moments first nmr shift reagents paramagnetism of lanthanide ions is utilized to spread resonances in 1h nmr of organic molecules that coordinate to lanthanides second 
lanthanide metals and alloys have interesting ordered magnetism effect for example smco5 and nd2 fe14b show ferromagnetic properties thus they are permanent magnets having following interesting properties a they are lightweight b high saturation moments c high coercivity d high magneto crystalline anisotropy e superior performance magnets for magnetic bearings couplings or wave tubes third synthetic rare earth garnets example given ln3 fe5 o12 and y3 fe5 o12 show interesting ferry magnetism summary in this module we discussed that the van black equations taking into account the first order and the second order zeeman effect the magnetic property of a substance originates from its ground state but this is not so when the excited states lie close to the ground state it explains when multiplied with is close to kt the thermal energy there is a need to also consider the population of excited states such a consideration leads to three distinct situation first the multiplet width is large as compared to kt second the multiplet width small as compared to kt and third the multiplet width comparable to kt the three distinct situation give rise to different magnetic moments and susceptibilities equations the magnetic properties of lanthanides for the lanthanides the spin orbit coupling constant is quite high so that l and s vectors couple effectively to give the j vector thus for lanthanides j is a good quantum number and multiplets all very wide as compared to kt